The Queen's Diamond Jubilee Galleries are opening because we had a tremendous collection here and an amazing space that had never been opened to the public before. It's incredibly atmospheric, extraordinarily beautiful. It's a 13th century gallery space. The gallery picks up on four themes that are kind of core to what the Abbey does. Uh, building Westminster Abbey, so what's been here over the thousand years of the Abbey's history. Worship and daily life. The Abbey is a working church. We've got a big theme about the Abbey and the monarchy, which reflects the way in which the Crown and the Abbey have been closely linked, really, since the 10th century. And then we've also got a, a section where we look at the Abbey and its relationship to national memory, the way in which the Abbey has become a place where uh, people are commemorated and memorialised. When they buried a king or queen, they created an effigy of them either in wood or in wax. And then when it became dusty and disreputable 100 years later, they put it up here for storage purposes. Now, we have them set out in these glorious cases and they've been cleaned and preserved. They are extraordinary representations of medieval kings, which you don't find anywhere else. There are a lot of things which have either never been seen before, paintings, furniture, sculpture, books and manuscripts from our library and archive collection. We've put on display the marriage license for Prince William, as he then was, and Kate Middleton, authorising their marriage and directing that they may be married here in the Abbey. It was an extraordinary occasion here in 2011 and wonderful privilege to be part of that service. I hope visitors will take away is an enriched understanding of the history of this place and not just its history but what it also stands for and does today. Well I'm pretty confident there are a number of people from our staff and volunteers who've been up here for the first time and are saying wow it's so amazing.